So this is blue Majin Buu. Um, somebody challenged me to make this deck. Jan Carlos. So it was actually relatively easy to put this deck together. Um, I just thought of like, hmm, what blue cards would I want to play? Um, so I have experience with some of these cards, of course. So I was like, all right, I'll play st some staples and put in a simple engine and take out a lot of the um, a lot of the other boo cards out. So now I can mainly focus on the main Majin Buu of the deck, which is Majin Buu Revived because of the whole Majin Buu Sealed Ball strategy. But since this is blue Majin Buu, obviously I was going to use energy boosted Majin Buu in the deck. So there's eight Majin Buus in the deck, four of them being blue. You play Majin, uh, energy boosted Majin Buu, draw a card, self explanatory. Let's go to the leader, Bobbity. Um, you start off with Bobbity in the beginning of the game. You get his auto effect, which will let you play Majin Buu's sealed ball from your deck. You only play one copy, because you're only really going to need one copy to play off the trick of. Um, using his ability to summon a Majin Buu revived and I wanted to have a 50-50 ratio of the deck so I took one of the Majin Buu sealed balls out and put in one little tech of encouraging President Monaka active main your leader card gains double strike and you, for the duration of the turn and then you draw a card so it self replaces itself and you know you can give your leader double strike until the end of the turn so just a simple little draw card to take up to, to make up space and to get the color balance 50 50 um, as you can see there's four red Majin Buu's four red saying Kabas, you know, it's to help, it's part of the engine to help um, get you to, your leader awaken. Because uh, once you awaken Bobbity and become Bobbity creator of evils, you have the active main ability once per turn. You could choose one of your battle cards to gain 5,000 power for the duration of the turn and auto once per turn when a battle card when one of your battle cards attacks and you draw a card and if you do so take uh, one card from the top of your deck and put it under your Majin Buu sealed ball and once you have five or more um, cards under this card you can send it to the drop area to choose up to one Majin Buu revived from your deck and play it then shuffle your deck and obviously there's your Majin Buu revive for that card mm -hmm. uh, Kaba's ability is auto when this card attacks you may choose one card from your life add it to your hand that's how you'll help yourself awaken because you only need six or less life in order to awaken so two attacks from Cabo will allow you to awaken your Bobbity so you can start doing your little Majin Buu summoning combo and he gains double strike and 5k I mean 10k which makes him a 15,000 attacker and for the duration of the turn so obviously a pretty decent um, one drop Then you got the Divine Aid Vados. She's your zero cost 10k booster. You know, if your leader is red, which it is because it's Bobbity, and you're, if your life are four lower, drop one card and then add 10,000 to the combo 
Federation to turn when you use this. Of course, these here are tech cards. Um, Majin Buu Revive and Saint Kaba are the Majin Buu engine. While Vados and further in the Shushan Champa, they're just some red tech cards. Um, Destruction Ch Champa has auto when you combo with this card, choose one of your attacking cards, it gains double strike. So that card will that you're attacking with will deal two damage instead of one. So obviously that'll help you get closer to victory. Your uh, Majin Buu Revived already has double strike. Also has the ability that when it comes into play from the effect of Majin Buu's sealed ball, your opponent takes one damage. Then for the blue, you got a little simple Goku engine. You have the Mighty Attack Sun Goku, 15k critical. So whenever it deals damage to your opponent's life, it sends that that um, that life to the grave to the drop area instead of to the hand, which is what you always want. You don't want to let your opponent get a card that they can use to block another your next attack or just to play the following turn. And there's a Vegeta that does the same thing, it's the Salient Vegeta. This is just the Goku version, and because it's Goku, of course, it's searchable with Kind saying Son Goku. You place um, Son Goku, look at the top seven cards in the deck, and add a Son Goku from from that, those seven cards. Add one to your hand. You can obviously add a copy of Kind saying Son Goku, so that way the next turn you can play another one and then you know look at the top seven and keep going and thin out your deck that way plus you can of course because you have mighty attack sun goku which is a sun goku you can obviously add that to your hand so there's the synergy there and then of course energy boost to majin buu it's a majin buu it's blue you play it you draw a card enough said guardian north kaim is a one drop blocker it's good to have you know some type of defense you know you want to stall long enough to to get your uh majin buu sealed boo i'm um, sealed ball to get its effect and go off and then i took out a couple of the, you know i took out some of the uh red kill spells and just focus more on defense and power boost so we got Vados Assistance, counter attack, negate an attack, then choose, and then you may switch up to one of your battle cards into active mode. It's definitely useful when, uh, let's say for some reason, right, you attack with Guardian North Kai, especially if you boosted Guardian North Kai with your uh, Bobbity Creator of Evil's um, auto main effect to give 5,000 5, boosts to a battle card. So now you have a 10,000 that can attack your opponent's um, leader or anything else. And then you got 10,000. If, if you deal damage, that's, that's great, of course, right? But let's say you're in the scenario where it's like your opponent's attacking. And um, of course you already attack with your um, Guardian North Kai, that was the whole idea of power boosting him so you can attack with him and then on your opponent's turn when he attacks you can you know use Vado's assistance to negate that attack or to negate one attack of course right and then untap your uh, Guardian North Kai so if your opponent has another attack you can block with your Guardian North Kai so that way you can attack and defend you know there's a combo right there, right? And of course, I, I try to stay with low cost cards. A lot of one drops, like the Vados Assistance is a one drop. Kaba's Awakening, cost zero. Active battle. Choose up to one of your red cards. It gains 6,000 power for the duration of the battle. Of course, it just only works on your, on your red cards, none of your blue cards, but it's still a good card nonetheless, especially for zero. Senzo Bean, active 
battle, choose up to one of your cards. It gains 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. And that can be used on any any of your cards, whether it be blue or, or red. And of course, then choose up to two of your energies and switch them to active mode. Now it doesn't say blue energy, any energy, so you can untap two red energies if you want. After you know you use one blue in order to play Senzu Bean. Weiss's cohesion counter attack, negate an attack, then choose up to one of your energies and switch into active mode. Again, it says switch one of your energies, not blue energy, so you can you know obviously untap one of your red energies if you want to untap one of your red energies instead of one of your blue energies. And I already mentioned Monaka and the Majin Buu's sealed ball. I accepted a challenge. Challenge accepted and completed. And that's the end of the video.